My name is Karen and this is Kathy and we're going to demonstrate today how to take a complete mouse series with digital sensors. So we're going to put the, the instruments together. We'll get them out of the cassette or instruments and then we're going to put them all together. So we have three rods and then our bite blocks. So we, we put our anterior one together and this is the one that doesn't lay flat. So we'll put it together and with the with the bite block and, th and then we have our ring and then we center our ring over that bite block so that's for our anterior films and so that's for upper anteriors and lower anteriors so we we have all these then we use our ring also for our po all the other ones so this ring is centered here and then it's off centered on this side and that's the difference in it. This is for anteriors and this is for posteriors. Then I also use a cotton roll to have them bite. It makes it more secure for the patient. So I like to use a cotton roll. So we put that on with the rubber band. That's right here. So that's our anterior. Then we'll put our posterior instrument together. And they're, they're written on here, posterior, if you have trouble. It says posterior, anterior, and a bite wing. And this is the bite posterior piece, we put that on. Then the ring, we use the off-centered part of this ring. Then we want to be sure that's centered over the bite block. And that tells you that's ready for the posterior, and that would be for this upper over here and the lower over here. And to switch it, we would take this out of the bite block, and then we flip that, and we change the ring around, and then that would be for this upper over here and this lower over here. So this is the one when you take the films, you have to switch it back and forth. Okay, you flip it, and then we turn this. This is for this upper on this side. Okay, so we have anterior, posterior, and now this is the bite wing right here. We have, and it's this shorter bite rod, and then the bite wing, this piece right here. We put it on like that. And then the ring we need to use is right here. And then we want to use the centered part. And you want to be sure then that ring is centered over that bite block. Okay, and that's for this side of the bite wing and then or this side of the bite wing. Okay, so we have our pieces all put together. We're going to start with anterior. Okay, and then we line up our, um, we set up our sensor to hook it up to the computer. And then we have covered our sensors with a plastic cover here. Um, with a, each of them are covered. Okay, we have anterior and a posterior for our sensors. So we have both of them, and we covered them with plastic before we take our pictures. We're going to start taking the radiographs. We select the film that you're going to take. We select our upper anteriors, and then we're going to select this icon. We select our sensor. We're starting with the number one sensor, so we select that. Be ready to take our radiographs. We're ready. We have everything set up out here. We'd go get our patient. So we'd be ready to take our radiograph. You'd seat your patient and be sure you move glasses, partials, and dentures. And you'd want to seat them here and their head in the headrest. And we'd put on the thyroid collar, which is right over here. I always put the thyroid collar on. And then here's you put the machine on right here. It's the on off of the machine. And so you turn that off and on. And then when you get finished taking your radiographs, be sure your tube head is in the storage position right over here is what we want. When you're finished taking your radiographs, set that in that position right here. So it's always right here in, when you start. And then when you're ready to take your radiographs, you bring your tube head over here. And we like you to always work. So this is in front of you, so you can change your num. So this is for anteriors, and premolars, and bite wings, and lower molars, and upper molars. You change it right here. You change your tube head. This is in the horizontal position, and then this is in the vertical position. How we take our film, so you know how that works. It turns like that. Okay. So just showing. Okay. So we'd be ready to take our radiographs and this we're going to take him on Dexter today and this is how he opens and closes. Kathy's going to help me open and close them today. So we have an assistant. Okay, so we're ready to take our radiographs. Again, we're going to start with our upper anterior and we've selected our sensor. 
we have, we're going to start with number ones. So we're going to put our sensor into the bite block for our anteriors. And it will just kind of, it pops in kind of to the bite, to the bite block and you put it down into the bite block to be sure it's secure down at the bottom. The wire will always be coming up to the bottom and you place your sensor in there and then it's centered in that bite block and we're going to take our upper centrals and that is selected on our FMX and we'll oh my cord is okay I'm going to swing around here and take our upper centrals we have our setting ready to go with our upper centrals okay and then we're going to open them up and I get it start with my upper centrals I'm going to get it behind the two centrals I'm going to bring that bite block up to their upper teeth and then I'm going to have them bite down and get it behind those centrals bring that ring up in close approximation and you're going to line up this tube head and you want this rod here the rod and this pid to be parallel and then come out here and make our exposure okay I'm going to hold that button down until the light and sound stop hold that down and the image will come up Okay, then it goes in that spot where, where you've selected. Okay, then we're going to take that out. Okay, and then we're going to move to the next exposure here. And I'm going to select that one. Okay, so now we're going to take our upper lateral. So we want to center it behind our lateral. And again, we're going to bring our bring it up to their upper teeth, the bite block, and have them bite down just enough to hold it. Okay, get behind our lateral, bring our ring up, close approximation. And then we'll line up our PID. And we want this rod, it's like the rod and the tube head to be parallel. You kind of look from the side, looks good. And we might come out here, make our exposure. Selected our film that we're going to take. Okay, and it's going to show up on the screen here. Okay, I'm right, going to take it out. It's always good to be sure you look through the window so the patient hasn't moved as you're taking your films or the tube head hasn't moved. So now, after the lateral, we'll take our canine. We're going to get it behind that, center of that tooth. Bring this bite block always up to their upper teeth. Have them bite. Get behind the teeth you want to see. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to make our exposure. We've selected our canine. Okay, okay, there we go. Now we're going to take our, we've got all our uppers we've taken on one side. Now we're going to go to the lowers. Then if, always bring them up so it's easier for you to take. So we'll take our lower centrals here. And we'll come out here, let me select our film that we're going to take. Okay. Now we're going to take our lower anteriors. So I selected that on the screen. And then I, I'm gonna, I've put my cord here so it, in this, there's a little hole here so it won't show up in the picture. Oh. I'm going to put it behind their lower anteriors and I'm going to have them bite. Come down and bite on that. And we want this rod, the rod right here, and the pid to be parallel. Make sure your cord isn't in the way of the x-ray beam, so we don't get a picture of the, the cord right here. Okay, so the rod and the pid are parallel. Get behind, and you got it behind your lower anteriors. And come out here and make your exposure. Okay, be sure you always look through that window. So they haven't moved. Okay, grab that out. And we're going to take our lower canine and lateral. Get it between their tongue and their teeth. Okay, now bite down. Okay. Line up this rod and the pid. And 
this rod and the pig to be parallel, so that looks good. So we don't want to get a cone cut. And we select our film burner. Okay. Okay, canine lateral. So we have taken half the mouth, so we'll now we'll start with our posteriors. We have our anteriors done. And we're gonna change our sensor to the posterior. So we'll need this ring. Okay, this for our posteriors. Again, we covered our sensor. We're gonna place it in. And we have to change the sensor that we're using now. We select the number two sensor. This is our posterior instrument. We're gonna place our sensor in there and we're gonna use this ring now that's off-centered and we're gonna center this ring over the bite block. And we want the cord to always be coming out of their mouth. We set that up. So this cord is always coming out of their mouth. We're going to do our upper premolars. We'll set our setting for our upper premolars. This cord got a hole. The cords are kind of long, so you got to untangle them here. There's lots of cord here. Okay, then we're going to bring this up here. We want to get our distal of our canine. This is our upper premolar. We're going to bring again that up to their upper teeth and have them bite. And get it behind our distal canine. Kind of look right through that ring to be sure you have it. And you're going to line this up. Again, we want our rod and the pid to be parallel. So that rod and the pit are parallel. And we're gonna make our exposure. We need to select our over. Okay. Okay, that's our premolar. Now we're gonna do our molar. Okay. And we're gonna select our molar setting, upper molar. Here we want to get um, bone behind our last erupted tooth. So you're going to bring it up to their upper tooth and have them bite. Okay. Bring that ring and then we want to line up that rod and that pit to be parallel. The rod and the pit are parallel. We come out here and make our exposure. I'm going to select your film that you're taking and then it will go in that spot. If you don't select it, it'll go into another one, but it's, it'll, okay, that's our molar, upper molar. Now we're going to do our lower premolar. We select that. And then the, this is where then we're going to have to change our instrument to do our lower, our lower teeth here. So we're going to take our bite block off. I turn it, give it one turn, and then we'll turn this Give it one turn and now we'll do the lowers over here. We want to put sensor into the bite block. And we'll do our premolar. So I'll change this for our premolars. And then take our lowers. Again, we want to get for our premolars, we want to get distal canine. Gonna bring that into their mouth. Distal canine. Okay, and kind of put it in between their tongue and their teeth and have them bite. Okay. Okay, bring that ring up in close approximation and then you want that rod and the pid to be parallel. Okay, looks good. And you come out here and make your exposure. Okay. Oh, and get up and get that distal canine. Okay. Now we'll do our molar. So let's change it for our lower molar. 
And let me, s I didn't sl okay, I'm gonna get it behind the bone, behind the last erupted tooth. You can bring his cheek around there. Okay, and have them bite. Okay. Again, it's important to get it behind the teeth you want to see. Then you want to select this. Okay. Okay, that's our lower molar. So we have all our periapicals finished. So now we're going to take some bite wings. This is our bite wing setting, so we'll change it for that. Okay, take our bite wings now. We've taken all our periapicals. So we're going to take our bite wings. So we're going to use the number two sensor. And then the ring, we're going to use the side that's centered. And again, we want the, for our sensor, we always want the the cord to come out of their mouth. Okay, so we're gonna, then we wanna center this ring over our sensor. We're gonna take our bite wings right here. Start with our premolar. I start with premolars and then I work back to the molars. So now we're gonna take our premolar bite wing and I want to get my distal canine on the lower, always on the lower, whichever's further anterior, but it's usually the lower. I want to get distal canine and I want to get the contact between the mesial of the maxillary first molar and the premolar. So that's the contact I want to open up. So to get that, I'll come down here and I can see my angle here between those teeth because that's what I want to open up and I'll bring this tube head over here to line that up so I can see that angle. I, I get down here so I can see the occlusal plane so I can see that angle so I know how to open up that contact. It's kind of like if I would take a piece of floss between those contacts so I could open those up and I'll place it in his mouth here. Get that, okay, get that distal canine and have him bite. And then what I'll do Sometimes I'll get right behind those teeth and I'll look at that contact and I'll kind of put my finger there so it's at that angle so I can see that. Okay, I take a look here a couple times because to get between that contact you've got to be pretty exact. And I can see those angles so that looks, again I want that rod and that pid to be parallel. That's that angle right there. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Okay, a premolar bite wing. Now I'll take a molar bite wing. And I'm going to select it out here. I just want to select that before you take it. Okay. Now my molar bite wing. I want to get bone behind last erupted tooth, and the contact I want to get open is the distal of the maxillary first molar. Okay. So I'm always working off that maxillary first molar for my bite wings. For the premolar, I want the mesial of it open. For the molar I want the distal of it open and then I want bone behind last erupted tooth. Again I'll get down here and I'll look at my angle of that tooth and I want to get right between those contacts and then line up my line that up so that looks good. I bring that up and I want to stay parallel with the teeth to get those contacts open. Okay and have them bite down. And then I'll take my molar bite wings. So on bite wings, we want to see in between the teeth at a nice angle. And for the periapicals, we want to see the whole tooth, the apex of the tooth. Okay. Okay. Well, let's slip that out. Okay. Now we've taken all our radiographs, and if you have any retakes, we'd take them now, you know, you'd pick out the ones you'd want to retake, and we look at them all together as one, like sometimes you have some better on one than another one, so then you don't have a retake, but if you have retakes, you take those now, and, and your set is complete. So then you'd 
have your, take your patient out of the chair and take the thyroid collar off and then you would clean up all your instruments. Okay, thank you. And if you have any questions, be sure and come and ask us. Kathy and I are here to help you.